to add these up. A is 10 newtons up and B is 15 newtons at 45 degrees below the horizontal. Find the resultant in Cartesian form. First thing you have to do is write each of your vectors in Cartesian form. A is easy. That's 10 newtons in the J direction. It's already up. So A is just 10 newtons in the J direction. To find B, you need to draw your triangle. This is 15 newtons on the horizontal. You'll have 15 sine 45 in the x direction and 15 cosine 45 in the j direction. So we have 15 cosine 45 i plus minus 15 sine 45 j. Remember that it's got to be minus because we're going down. So add these up, add the i's, add the j's. a plus b is 15 cosine 45 i plus 10 minus 15 sine 45 j. And plug that into your calculator. The resultant of a plus b is 10.6 i minus 0 0.607 j newtons. That's your answer. Double check. Does this make sense? If we took the resultant of r how long is this? By the Pythagorean theorem, 10.6066 squared plus minus 0 0.60660 squared. That gives you 10.624 newtons. And if you think about a triangle that goes up like this for 10 and down for 15, it's not unreasonable to think that this side, r, the third side of the triangle would be about 10.6. So that looks like a reasonable answer. And we can check the angle. The angle to the x-axis is given by your vector magnitude was 10.624. Your angle is negative 0.607 down or 10.6 over. You can use any of your trig functions to, that you'd like to find that theta angle arc tan or arc sine or arc cosine and you get 3.273. That's the angle below the x-axis, which also makes sense with our check triangle.